okay. There's a good view from here actually. You can see over onto um you can see over onto London there, see the post office tower, the shard. There's a couple of new buildings going up now. This is um Right, this is Nunhead, which is a part of um, South East London, SE15 3NA. You can look at it on a map if you want. Right, what I'm doing now is I'm going to take you around Nunhead Cemetery, which is a very famous cemetery. It was quite a, back in the, some of the graves there in the 17th, 18th century, there was quite some famous people buried there, like landed gentry, etc. It's quite a historical place. So I'll give you a walk around there, it's a, it may be of interest to you if you ever come this way, South London. You know, there's some really, really nice places. I'll take you up there and show you. Um, I'll just show you this sign. It tells you about it. Map of London. See that there? Sorry, darling. No, sorry. You're alright, no worries. No, you're there. It's alright. This is the sign. I don't know if you can see, read that, but anyway. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Times are open till, this is open times. This is a. Uh, just make sure I get to the time stated. So the dates and the times. 30 to 7, that's April to September. September. Okay. All right, let's go for a walk. Dum, 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 dum. Right, let's see it again. Look. No, the cars is there. There's a, there's a, Doing some renovation there. Renovation work. See that poor guy there. He walks miles. I feel so sorry for him. He lives in um, a friend. Every day he walks that dog, and he's been doing that for years. Bless him. Well, it sounds a bit crappy, I shouldn't say that, does it? <coughs> well, I'll show you this. It's here now, All Saints Cemetery Nunnid. Tells you all about it, history of St. Cemetery is one of the seven great privately owned Victorian cemeteries established around the outskirts of London between 1832 and 1841 when the city church had become unhealthfully full. It was opened in 1840 by the London Cemetery Company. None of them was the smallest habit surrounded by market gardens and open fields, none at Hill. Oh, it's interesting that, that's not there. Building system. Okay, the chapel. This gives you a little bit of macro walk, you can have a walk around it. Some more famous tombs. It's interesting some little events that are going on. Right, let's walk up this way. Sometimes I walk up that way, this is an interesting walk. <coughs> this has been I used to come here all the time with my mum and that and uh, my dog used to bring her over, she loved it. Fantastic place to bring a dog. Funny enough, I like cemeteries, I don't know why, I'm a bit weird. They don't scare me, this is a famous monument here of the Scottish Martyrs. Oh, I'll show you this. You can have a read of it if you can get in close. Let's have a look, that's good. I hope you can, you can pause it, you know, and have a look if you need to. What's that there? Keep off the grass. Memorials in this area. Have an identical husband on stable, please keep to the footpath. If you wish to access a grave, not yet, please. Who in areas, please? No, I don't think she's accessing a grave at this time. <coughs> right, this is a, a monument, Scottish Martyrs. Uh, it's right up. It's been the Scottish Mars. It's funny they're down this end, isn't it? When you think about it. South London. Should we? Uh, 
it? But you can see that is how clear it is. I don't know. Who it is. It's got a lot of um, moss and stuff over the years to do with the clean, actually. He says, condemned in Scotland, ADMD, whatever that is, and the transportation for advocating with fearless energy the uh, principles of the parliamentary reform. Oh, that's interesting. I remember of Thomas Martyr, Thomas Murr, William Skirvin, Morris Mar Margaret, and Joseph Gerald. <coughs> Erected with the funds collected a public greeting in London. What's that say? Of the February, the, I can't read the Roman numerals, there's a lot of Roman numerals there. Joseph Hume, MP, Chapman. Oh, okay. Scottish Martyrs. Political Martyrs Memorial, AD. Oh, if someone knows Roman numerals, they can put it, put it in the notes for me. I don't mind. Let's get up this road anyway, it's a big old hill this. Pleasant. I used to run up here when I was younger, flying around this park. I loved it. Dog run alongside me in the winter, it was snow, it was beautiful. Love it. My dog used to keep her off the gravestones though. She could be a little bit naughty. And we on them, some of them, no, not well, I wouldn't say that, but near them. I used to drag her away. <coughs> in the end, she got used to it and she didn't do it anymore. Some of these, I mean, some of the ages on these stones are incredible. Sophie Upton, 1863. Oh, I suppose that's a good age for those days. <clears throat> See the birds, lovely. Oh, so peaceful. That's doing good, a bit of exercise. Some of these obviously are derelict. There's a lot of stones here that have been falling over and over. I don't know, they don't tend to only look after certain ones. They really have been here a long time. Oh, this one here, look. That's only been here since 1917. That's appropriate. That's that film, wasn't it? Just recently, 1917. Two sons, Captain Clarence Beach Faulkner, Agent, 2nd, 2nd Battalion, London Regiment, RFSU, killed near Polar Capella, October 25th, 1917. Now, age 22. Wow. That's unbelievable. Alfred Cecil Beach Faulkner died to 32, age 28. My oh God. Even so, the bar where it seemed good, I nice sigh. Also, of the above, Alfred Beach Faulkner entered into the joy of his Lord. November the 17th, 1942, age 75. To be satisfied when I wake with thy kindness, likeness. Yeah. Makes you think, yeah, he lived to be a good age, that guy. Level two, they weren't so lucky. <clears throat> right. Yeah, look. Turn it around, Matt. What's that? Oh, okay. Right, let's get a, let's get a step on. 